Welcome to Conservative Guns and Armor. Today we have a 5,000 rounds later update for the Keltec Sub 2000. Y'all love it. And we're gonna add a little bikini bottom specialty to it. Let's see, uh, she's loaded. She's out, she's out! So we're gonna be running some Federal 115 grain. So we have a Magpul, pretty crappy magazine right here. Uh, this is just your standard Magpul 15 round mag for the um, for the Keltec, you can use this for a Glock, a PSA dagger, anything like that. Then we have the 31 round magazine here made by. Oh wait, wait, you mean you mean uh, U2 compliant? Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, U2 compliant. It looks like it's more, but it's really just 15 rounds of. Uh, well, anyways, we're just gonna load her up here. Federal 115 grain. Thank you for catching that, sir. I mean, it. I meant it was. I'm dyslexic, so it's actually 15 round uh, instead of uh, what I said before, so. Some might complain about the open bolt system that we got here. Um, it's not that hard, people. So we have, again, 15 rounds in this magazine here. It's starting to rain, so let's hurry this up. SpongeBob, me boy! Holy smokes, guys! Oh my gosh! Hmm. Wow, it's starting to really rain on us now. This really sucks, huh? <laughs> All right, so we got again Federal 115 grain, the 15 round magazine to show you guys it can run it. Uh, we're gonna be shooting at the steel. So here we go. There we go, she is clear. All right, so to show you guys how simple it is to break one of these guys down, uh, obviously remove the magazine. I keep the bolt open like so. Uh, put your safety on, pull the trigger guard out, so it should move out like that, and then you fold the gun in half. So, see the chamber there and everything, see right through, there is nothing in there, we are clear. Um, then you take your boat bag or whatever, you put it in there, and now, you are good to go. Just like so. This is a very loose. Don't take this to school, kids. <laughs> Do not take this to school. So we are a good solid 10 feet away. <laughs> Maybe like five yards. I don't know. Give or take. We're not experts. You're just here to watch some stuff blow up. Uh, 115 grain by Federal. Again, that's our standard. Um, so we got some fruit and then we got some steel down there. But before we go any further, go and check out Lamont Firearms out in Fowler Branch, Georgia. Use code CGA10 and you get 10% off on your next purchase. Um, we'll have that probably on the screen somewhere here. And you just enter it on their website, get 10% off. So that's pretty, pretty sweet deal. Oh. Oh! All right, there you go. So she's been running pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna give her to Skylar and see how she runs. All right, well, we're gonna do a point blank. So here we go, I had eye protection, it's fogging up, and there's yellow jackets all around, guys. So, oh! Man, I wish I had deodorant that smelled like that. That smells good. We got remnants of some yellow jackets here. Wow, that doesn't look as good on camera. Anyway, they're gone. All right, so we are out and we are clear and then safety is on. So how's it done after 5,000 rounds? Well like we talked about in our 2,500 round video, really nothing has changed. It's, uh, we cleaned it up a little bit, added some lube and everything, broke it down, all that good stuff um, after the 2,500 round uh, video, which go check that out for more 
in-depth details about it. This is just more of a quick overview on how it's done. Um, yeah, it's done great. It's gotten a little looser uh, as far as that open bolt system. So like I said before, there's a couple YouTubers out there that complain about how tight that is, but that's just kind of the nature of an open bolt design, uh, which a lot of you guys um, informed us about that on the first and second video, which you could have done it a little bit nicer, but we do appreciate it anyways. Anyways, yeah, so that's kind of the nature of the open bolt design. Uh, very unique, very different. It's been around for quite a while, very reliable, uh, but it is a little stiff. But after a while, like this one, it is loosened up quite a bit. If my skinny yellow ass can do it, then you definitely can. It takes a plethora of different types of magazines that we can't say on the platform, but let's just say it can go way past 15 rounds, very much past 15 rounds, how much past 30? Theoretically. Theoretically. Um, but uh, it's there's the M Carbo version that has a lot of upgrades on A lot of people have been commenting that on our previous video, which um, we'll try to post some pictures up in here. Uh, the M Carbo version is honestly one of the best variants uh, or the best upgrades you can do to the sub 2k and then Caltech just came out with the cqb which is the integratedly suppressed uh version of this guy which is if we can get our hands on it guys i we promise we're we're gonna try um but uh she sold out everywhere we can find um but yeah no she's done fine um our particular one nothing wrong with it um yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to say. Other, I mean, we will keep you guys updated. Again, we'll comment down below in this most recent video if anything does happen in the near future. Um, but yeah, she's been running fine. She's been running hot and uh, staying reliable. Not a single issue. Uh, the accuracy is probably needs to be sighted in a little bit better. But other than that, uh, she's been doing pretty good. So yeah. Welcome to redneck skeet shooting on the ground. So uh, we're just going to kick this cantaloupe down here and I got... I don't even know how much I loaded up. I just loaded it up. So to the legal amount, YouTube, just piss off, please. All right, so we're gonna kick it down uh, the hill here and then I'm gonna shoot it. So let's just get this out of the way. All right, you horny bastard. You just rolled away from me. Well, you, you, I'll just point, no, I'm just kidding. That's what I thought. You ain't getting away like, like the other one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun. So the Keltec Sub 2000, why should you buy it? Well, because uh, why not? It's America. No, it's, uh, it's a very compact firearm once you fold it up and um, offers a lot of firepower. Again, um, it's chambered in different calibers as well. I think it goes all the way up to 50, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, so very versatile in that way. Uh, but when you go to shoot it, I will uh, you know, I will admit it's, it's not the most comfortable to shoot. Um, then again, M Carbo upgrades will solve that problem. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it as always. Um, hope you like the fruit explosion. Now we got to deal with yellow jackets for the rest of the season, but we do it for you guys. Um, again, go check out Lamont Firearms on Fire Branch, Georgia. Use code CGA10 for 10% off. And uh, you know what I'm about to say. Like always, we'll see you guys in the next video.